when life gives you lemons, you just crochet one. When you're gonna pick up, call too many times. Text back saying, sorry I'm drunk, why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours, cause what else can we do? My name is Lisa and I crochet and knit stuff and that's what I've basically been doing on this channel um, and for this week's video I wasn't too sure on what I wanted to do so I thought of my collection of fruit bags that I've made recently I've made this very cute strawberry bag and this very cute I think it's like clementine or an orange bag uh, which are pretty adorable. I've never used them so far, but I will for sure in the future. Um, so I thought of making a lemon bag and while doing that I will just chat with you a bit mainly about uh, mental health uh, because when life gives you lemons you just crochet one, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just using some random yellow yarn that I've left. Um, and of course a crochet hook um, and I'm just gonna improvise something and yeah, I, it won't really be um, a pattern or anything, it's just me chatting with you um, about crochet. Magic circle time, magic circle. Okay, I hope I will be able to multitask and chat with you while I am crocheting. <clears throat> so yeah, I wanted to check in with you. How are y'all doing, guys? I hope you're doing, and girls, and days, and thems, everyone. For the girls and the gays and the days. Always. Um, I wanted to know how you are, of course. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I myself, I've been having some time off lately. I'm finally on break from university on summer break, which has been um, pretty nice. Uh, I got my second COVID vaccine last week, which I'm also super happy about because I'm I can't wait for, like, of course, the world to uh, go back to normal, I guess. Well, I'm not that even that sure if I really can't wait for that because I'm such an introvert and I kind of like this way of living isolated. <laughs> no, but I want, I would, of course, love to um, travel more and do more uh, fun stuff. Wait, I'm gonna move the camera down a bit so you can see. Um, I have actually, I do actually have some travel plans. I'm gonna go to uh, Paris at the end of August, which I'm super excited for. Uh, I would love to, I have been doing, taking French classes all year long at university and I can't wait to um, go to France and actually practice a bit. Um, so I'm super excited for that. And moreover, I uh, will just do like fun stuff here in the Netherlands, in both my hometown and in Amsterdam, where I'm studying and where I have my apartment. Uh, they're not too far away from each other, so that's completely fine. And in terms of mental health, I've been doing better recently. Um, it's complicated because I think summer is always very fun, but it's difficult because you lose basically all types of um, routine and structure that you had in your life, and that's always difficult to um, yeah to deal with, I guess, at least for me. But it's been really fun to spend more time with my family and with my friends in my hometown. Um, yeah, that's just been really amazing, and my yarn is already super super tangled, and. Um, I just want to like address that mental health is just as important as your physical health. Um, lately I've been kind of neglecting workouts. Um, it's been a while, I haven't been to the gym in a long time. Or a long time, like a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, which is long for me. But I don't know, I felt like I had to take a break to do a bit more like things with my own with my own mind and think about uh, life decisions and my future and it's been a bit overwhelming and uh, I think that crochet and knitting has been really a way for me to um, 
truly uh, relax and to just, I don't know, take a step back and um, working on a project is just really good in that way because it distracts me, it <laughs> gives me like another purpose and I can do it without thinking too much about my life. <laughs> it sounds so sad, but yeah. Uh, because when I do a crochet project, it's just like you watch, for example, a movie and you crochet. Um, and normally when watching a movie, I get distracted. I don't know, I just, I can't really focus. And when I'm doing another thing at the same time, like crochet or knitting, it just really helps me. Let me know if you have the same thing as me. <laughs> I've been thinking also about, like, I'm going into my last year uh, for my bachelor's at the University of Amsterdam. I'm doing European studies with um, a major in European history and uh, French, uh, French language, which has been really fun. And now I'm starting uh, my last year, I'm gonna do my minor in journalism, which I'm super excited for because I've always said that I want to eventually work in the field of journalism. So. I'm really excited to uh, learn more about that and uh, I've also already decided to prolong my studies and to um, take a fourth year as well or at least make it three and a half years so I can go on exchange to France uh, next year which I'm also very excited for <laughs> so yeah there's like exciting things coming but also of course um, it always feels a little bit scary that uh, things are like changing and that I'm getting older well I just turned 21 so it's really not that big of a deal but still geez oh, the tangles are really bad then I also want to talk this is just gonna be a bit of a weird chit chat video but I watched Young Royals on wait I just need to untangle this for a bit Young Royals on Netflix. Oh my god, I fucking love that show. It's amazing. Um, I got so obsessed with it. I'm not so sure why. Well, it's like a great. It's a great show, so I guess that's why. Why? But um, yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, and you want to be emotionally destroyed, um, go and watch it. <laughs> I think that um, it's so cool to see a show directed. Uh, and produced and written by a lot of women um, portrayed by actors that are actually young and that show like acne and um, uh, that have like disabilities or like it's very diverse and I think that's uh, that's super cool and uh, yeah I don't know it felt so fresh uh, as a show I I'm really happy to see more stuff like that I really should have probably prepared some topics <laughs> to talk about beforehand because now I'm just like rambling about random stuff but um, I guess that's gonna be fun as well I hope so at least and in terms of crochet and knitting I'm very curious to know if um, you like me are also someone that does both or if you do um, just one of the two and let me know which one it is and why you prefer that one for me it goes really in um, phases um, there are moments where there are some months where I just don't like to knit at all and I just want to crochet and vice versa um, it's a different vibe for me really <laughs> Uh, and d different kind of projects that you can make. Uh, now, lately, I've been doing both a lot um, because I've been making uh, like a lot of smaller things with crochet 
and more like clothing um, with knitting like bigger stuff like cardigans and sweaters and yeah stuff like that and in terms of video plans i really want to know what you want to see from me if you want uh, more tutorials like the flower cardigan one that's up right now um, or if you want more chit chat videos um, just like crochet or knit with me that are a bit more casual uh, me recreating stuff could also be very fun um, I've been thinking of like a few projects of like celebrity expensive clothes to um, recreate it's so tangled so I am very curious to know what you want to uh, what you want to see and uh, yeah I have some things in mind that I want to make on this channel but I would also of course love to hear what you would like to see as always <laughs> And okay, back to mental health stuff. I've been really thinking about like the use of social media lately and the way that I use it and um, how it affects my mental health. I think that's a very interesting and also very complicated um, topic because I do use social media quite a lot, but not it's uh, difficult to explain i don't spend that much time on my phone every day i think it's like one and a half hour which is still pretty long but i know people that spend like six hours on their phone every single day i do spend a lot of time on my laptop though so i'm not sure if that's <laughs> a lot better but i try to limit my time on like tiktok and instagram mainly and like i'm not sure because for in my experience, um, they they are wonderful. Like social media are very great for many things. Um, they are the reason that I know a lot more information. That I can look into people's lives that um, yeah aren't mine, and that maybe I wouldn't meet that um, quickly on the street or in my friend circle or something like that. And I think it's very cool that social media can be used as an instrument to really reach a broad public and to um, yeah basically just have like a more, a more diverse world you can kind of create your own little wor world but of course social media is also very toxic in many ways and um, does not work well for your like self-esteem and of course you can follow whoever you want etc blah, blah blah but I think that like in the core social media are made to be very addictive and very comparative so um, that's just you can't deny that fact about social media so I've been really thinking about it and also what you are sharing online and whatnot um, I'm someone that I do share a lot about me but it's more the things that i make and yeah of course there's also like some personal information and i guess that um you can find out quite a lot of things about me based on my instagram and my youtube and my other social media stuff um but i tend to also like i try to really remind myself of the fact that what you see on social media is only a small part of someone's life um, because there are so many hours and minutes of the day that you do stuff that is not at all on social media and you need to really realize that this is the case for others as well and that's really what I've been trying to um, yeah think about basically it's something that we are all working on I guess um, and just trying to make myself oh, listen, these tangles are the worst okay wait a minute let me cut uh, some of this Okay, I just had to 
untangle the yarn for like the 1000th time, but okay. Yeah, uh, that's just something I've been thinking about and that I'm trying to improve in my life to just spend, I guess, spend less time on social media or spend it in a way that it's benefiting me. And maybe that way is to just spend it the least possible. It's a difficult one because um, I, it also brings me so much joy, social media, seeing other people's um, stuff they're working on, especially in like the creative field, seeing their art and also with crochet and knitting, seeing their creations and it makes me feel very inspired. Um, so that's why it's a difficult one for me and why I wouldn't easily say like, okay, I, I will quit um, social media completely but I think it's about being more aware of the things um, that you are consuming every day um, and seeing yeah and trying to work on improving my own mental health and the way I think about myself and the world and blah 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 everything else like that <laughs> I think that I've been chatting with you for a very long time and I'm sorry if I haven't looked you in the eye <laughs> too much because I've been focused on the project. Um, this is what I have so far. It's just a yellow circle. I will, I think, continue working on this and then show you the finished um, results, the lemon. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> what I will do. So I will see you in a bit. All right, so I finished um, the lemon. I actually made a little string to it so I can attach it to something um, right now there's just the leftover yarn inside uh, but I'm thinking of what I will put in this little lemon pouch bag I think it's like very adorable and thank you so much for watching um, if you liked it please subscribe and do a thumbs up and uh, I hope that you um, like just chatting with me and that you will answer all the questions I asked you um, in the video if you want to of course See you next time and stay safe. Doei!